Bring a woman along for the F the extra views. <laughs> Is this a relative to the to Sam? To who? The, um, the friend from Jon Snow. He looks like he just he looks you, like you, his you've father. Bas you basically just said that all fat people look the same, unless we go down like a rabbit hole of Samuel Tarly is secretly the bastard descendant of House Strong or something. Lord Grover is looking more hale and healthy than I expected. Uh, this is Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. Jennifer, what are you doing? Why are you whining so much? Is it because the Tully boy is a treasonous little rat? Are the Tully's ambitious, opportunistic dogs? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. You can see why the Blackwoods and the Brackens did not fear to start a war beneath the nose of their liege lords. House Tully is a fish with no head. I swear to shit if they fuck up the Blackwood. There is a Blackwood who is Lord Samwell's sister, who is a fucking badass. And I do wonder if HBO are going to continue their tradition of cutting badass women from the shows that actually exist in canon. You know, like Nettles or the... It, it's hilarious. In today's age of putting female characters into shows and being really proud of it, HBO seems to really cut a lot of really badass female characters that are just there in the books, like already written. Ah, it's the Dragon Rider with the biggest kill count in all of one hand. The Princess of Peace. And you are Alan. Yes, your husband's bastard Princess. son. His grace never raised the matter with me. See, in the books, it was the maesters every single time that told him to do anything. There's a whole like wild conspiracy theory that the maesters are basically behind the entire Dance of Dragons, orchestrating it so that the Targaryens would kill each other and get rid of the dragons. Oh, oh she's preggers. She's preggers mm -hmm. with Cole's kid. With a little... A, little, a little Sir Simp. A little mini simp. Soon to be dead. One less simp in the world. And what is Cole's heading? It's in Alicent Hightower. Oh, oh, you mean like direction? Oh. Never mind, my mistake. It is difficult to say, but there were signs of an army moving northwest. You know that there's an army moving. So does everybody else. Everybody else <laughs> managed to figure this out, like, fucking, despite the fact that they don't have dragons. Everyone else knows about this. Somewhere in the vastness of the crown lands. I mean, by process of elimination, where do you think they're going to march, you fucking imbecile? Oh, gee, I wonder. I mean, hmm, there's only so many options. Could it possibly be the key to the Riverlands? Or could it possibly be... Ah, wait, no, there is really nowhere else. Other than, I mean, the obvious chain of events where he's going from castle to castle to gather his forces, maybe you should get ahead of the chain of the very obvious locations of castles that everybody knows the locations of, and just, like, interrupt up to him in there, maybe. You know. What's that? He's going to point A to point B to point C? Well, f*** me. Why didn't I think of that? This council is rudderless. I'm doing my best to steer it, Sir Alfred. Be a shit job at it, you daft bitch. The only thing she's good at is killing small folk. Why should your voice be any louder than ours, Prince? Because she has a dragon, you daft bastard. <laughs> Queen did not name you Hand. Should anyone to point out the fact that it's extremely short-sighted for Rhaenyra to just leave her notoriously unstable council without any kind of official <laughs> leadership? I mean, she's seen how these idiots act, or like, all the time. Finally, a man to Our take enemy charge. is on the march. Is there naught to be done in the absence of the Queen but to grouse? Oh look! The Darklands are dead! <laughs> but peace! At any point, one of the fucking dragons that is supposed to be patrolling the place could, you know, just follow the coastline and find Cole's giant army just apparently ransacking Duskendale. He's just there, on the coast, in the open. The war will be fought. Many will die. And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. Finally, someone being a fucking realist about it. Meanwhile, on Rhaenyra's council, we can stop the war! We must have peace! Yeah, there was a way! No, there isn't. I really want them to do, like, a flashback that's just Aegon Targaryen burning Harrenhal. Like, Daemon steps outside, and it's just Balerion the Black Dread. Can, can we stop to look at the, the, the tapestries in the background? They're, they're performing various lewd acts. Look, what, what the fuck? Viserys, like, secretly is extremely fucking horny, like, all the time. No wonder he has porn on his walls. Why does the king have porn on his walls? Strive to learn from the more studied minds around you. Gee, maybe someone should have, uh, I don't know, raised him to be king, rather than raise him to not be king? 
because nobody ever paid any attention to him or taught him to do anything. It was my hope that you'd listen to the wise counsel. Why would you hope for anything? The boy never wanted to be king. He was literally going to run away from his inheritance and his family and his name just to escape it. And you expect him to be a good king? Nobody's taught him shit! Like, yeah, useless fucking people. Useless. I have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. Dude, there's a difference between wise counsel and controlling counsel that thinks that you're better than the king and that you're fucking... It's not... It's not counsel, it's orders. And if you dare go against them, are oh, you purchaseless child? Okay. Yeah. No. Kicking Otto out of the council yeah. was one of the best decisions that Aegon's made so far. Thank you very much. And you are a whore that's sleeping with your fucking Kingsguard and just a massive fucking hypocrite. Considering how much shit she gave Rhaenyra for sleeping with her fucking Kingsguard, she then sleeps with the same fucking <laughs> Kingsguard. With, with, yeah, with the same one. With the same one bloke, yeah. But uh, she's sitting there on her high horse, drinking wine, having recently unalived her unborn child. What would you have me do, mother? Nothing. Yeah, be a puppet, Aegon. Be a puppet. <sighs> Rook's rest. And tree. The dragons are just across the bay. Yes, so it's almost like they'd fucking know that you're there anyway. Like, seriously, you're either going to Harrenhal or you're going to Castle to Castle to collect shit. So there's literally, like... I don't know, fucking two other options, like, of castles that they could be at. And Rook's Rest would be on the lookout by now. And they're literally cutting down trees outside of Rook's Rest. So, ravens to Dragonstone. Hey, your grace, there's a giant army outside my castle. I inherited 80 years of peace from my father. I needed to know that there was no other path. There's a path. Uh, <laughs> over here, your grace, your grace, over here. Yeah, there, there's a path. Uh, if you care so much about peace in the realm, maybe uh, take a page out of your fucking grandfather's book. You know, the conciliator, Jaehaerys. Uh, call a grand council. Maybe you should have gone to Alicent with a plan of some description, other than insulting her children and demanding that she surrender. Maybe you should have had some sort of, you know, plan for compromise. A grand council, perhaps, to let the realm vote. Oh, but, oh wait, yeah, they totally vote for Aegon. And you'd lose. So that's why nobody's even considering this plan. We want peace, but only if you, you know, surrender. That's that's the that's the only way we want peace. We want we want peace, but only if we win. Only if I get my way, uh, you know. At any point, Alicent could have ended that entire fucking war just there and just called the guards on the bitch. I will burn Cole's lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the experience. alarm. As opposed to your vast experience, when's the last time you uh, went to war with your dragon, Rhaenyra? Oh, yeah, I forget. Never. Mm, that's all shadowing. The Targaryen, Sunfire. who sits the Iron Throne, is not just Aegon the Conqueror's dream. He called it the Song of Ice and Fire. I have unleashed the dragons. It must be for more than just the crown. They're right. But Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra, unleashing the dragons gets all the dragons fucking killed, Rhaenyra. Everyone dies, Rhaenyra. You've done a bang up job uniting the realm, love. Fucking terrific job uniting the realm. Grand Council, that's what I'm saying. Grand Council. If she really fucking wanted peace, Grand Council. Her fucking grandfather was in a situation where war was going to break out. We had the Valarians and Corlys ready to back his claimant to the throne for his wife and uh, his son, Leonor. And then you had Daemon, who was ready to back his brother's claim. And they were at each other's throats. It was on the very edge of war. And what does the King Jaehaerys do? He sees this and goes, no, we must not kill ourselves. And then he throws the ground council and says, vote. So Rhaenyra could literally have gone to Alicent with this suggestion. And Alicent, if she was smart, would have agreed. And then you could have avoided all of, uh, all of this. This is the same woman who the entire previous episode spent 15 minutes saying that we should avoid war and that we can avoid war and that peace is an option. Oh shit, that's a big one. Yep, Vega. Yeah. But, uh, but Aegon is here fucking up the entire plan. Oh. Oh no. Aegon, buddy. Speed. Speed is the only reason that we're going to live. Oh shit, and he's like double the size. Yep. More, three times the size. Oh. Oh no. Oh. 
cold. We can have peace. Everything is fine. <laughs> Vigar is here, about to show Melee's exactly what it fucking means to go to war. <laughs> Thank the gods! You got it! Eamon, no. Oh shit. Vega is gonna pop up. And then he there he is! Says my boy. Oh. Rip his fucking head off. Is it gonna land on Rook's rest? It, it, it's gonna land mm -hmm. on Rook's Well, Eamon, it took you long enough. And you kinda killed your brother. Sort of. Because that Jakaris was completely unnecessary. <laughs> It could have just smashed into Bailey's and like ripped up them apart rather than fire. Awesome. Damon! Maybe check to see if he's still fucking breathing, Cole? I mean, he's wearing Valerian still armor from which was established before. Maybe maybe check to see if he's still breathing, Cole, you daft fuck. I put if I feel bad for Sunfire though. Also, this is kind of entirely fucking Allison's fault. Maybe if she wasn't such a shit fucking mother, this wouldn't have happened. Behold! The traitor dragon Melis! Slain by King Megon! Okay, I mean, yeah, this episode was definitely the best one. Hands down, no competition whatsoever. Finally, we're going to war and people can stop freaking crying about there being peace. There, there, there was never going to be peace. The only peace that exists is Rhaenyra entertaining the notion of taking a page out of her grandfather's book and holding a grand council. But that's not going to happen because they'd, they'd pretty much vote for Aegon. If you put the vote to the will of the people, yeah, the lords are going to vote for the male claimant. You just, they just do. Is it sexist? Yes. Do the medieval lords care that it's sexist? No. Is Rhaenyra an incompetent and extremely selfish ruler? that only really thinks about herself and gaslights everybody else around her into thinking that she's some sort of holy fucking savior. Yes! <laughs> I'm not doing it for the crowd, I'm doing it for the good of the realm. But also, here's my conditions. Surrender or else. By the way, your kids are gay. Like, this is her negotiation tactic. I want to compromise, but I will not compromise. You will do exactly as I say, I will be queen and you will bend the knee. That's my compromise. That's not what compromise means, Rhaenyra. You stupid bitch. She wants to have peace, but will not entertain any notion of peace being achieved where she doesn't get what she wants. Which is literally no different than the High Towers putting their claimant on the throne because that's what they want. It's almost like both sides are extremely flawed. But the show really does feel like there's a lot of bias towards the Rhaenyra side of things, honestly. But hey, great episode. I can't complain. I mean, I can, but it's just, you know passionate rambling. This was a great episode. I mean, the bar was pretty low, considering the first three episodes was, like, just a bunch of whining about going to war. Finally, we're at war. The show can actually begin now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stuff is actually happening. But that is all for now. I thank you for watching. This episode was good. Real good. I have no complaints. One final note, though, before we close this up. Cole's plan was actually really good. I'm assuming, of course, that his entire plan was to be as obvious as possible. His plan did rely on the Blacks knowing exactly where he was, and he was just pretending to hide and cover his tracks because everyone knew where he was. If his intention was to do that on purpose, it was a great plan if Vega was genuinely waiting at Rosby. He was waiting at Stokesworth. He was waiting at Duskendale, but it took Rook's rest before Maylees actually showed up, and then the trap was sprung. The whole thing was a giant elaborate trap, and Aegon fucked it up because his mother is terrible. Honestly, the entire Dance of the Dragons can pretty much just be blamed entirely on really shitty parents. <laughs> Alicent is a terrible mum, and Viserys was a pretty shitty father who basically neglected all of his children except for Rhaenyra. Bad parenting. This is what happens. Bad parenting causes the Dance of the Dragons and my dogs to go batshit crazy, apparently, in the background. Uh, we'll wrap this up here, lads. I will see you guys in the next episode next week. Time flies, and I have so much to do. I thank you for watching. That is all for now. Soul out.